Welcome to today's devotional. I am Laura and I am on staff over at Audacious Chester. I'm the ministry assistant there and it is just my complete privilege, my complete honour to be sharing with you this morning. Um, what a gift to be able to just draw from God's word every single day and just find find something that is going to bring you peace and is going to leave you encouraged and inspired to for your day or if you're watching this in the evening um yeah it can be something that just brings you great peace so that you can have a great sleep um grab yourself a beverage maybe if you're watching this in the evening don't grab something caffeinated i don't know about you but i would be awake for hours um but yeah grab a coffee grab a tea um whatever is your beverage of choice get your journals out get a notepad if you're like me you spread them everywhere um and yeah, just let's let's receive from God this morning. Let's share. Um, feel free to be encouraging each other in the chat as well, because um, I know that God speaks through so many people. Um, so yeah, let's let's pray and let's get into it. And I hope that today, my heart view is that you just leave feeling encouraged. Um, and so, yeah, thank you, God. Thank you for this time that we get to be together. Thank you for your word. Thank you that we get to hold it in our hands, that we get to open it and just receive a word from you straight from your heart to ours, Father God, that you are active and living in your word, that it is not somewhere that um, is lonely, that when we open our Bible, we are connecting with you we are speaking with you we are in a relationship with you father god so i just ask that when we open and read this word this morning that yeah father god would you just be with us where we're at would we lift our hearts and our eyes to you jesus would you just um enter in fill us with peace fill us with discernment um and yeah lord i just thank you we praise you, we honour you, in Jesus' name. Amen. So, the word I have for you today that you're going to want to write down is from 2 Samuel chapter 23, verse 5. I will be reading it from the MSG version, message version. And it says, For God guaranteed his covenant with me, spelled it out plainly, and kept every promised word, my entire salvation, my every desire. And I'm going to read that again because if you're not moved by that, then I need to read it over you again. And it says, For God guaranteed his covenant with me, spelled it out plainly and kept every promised word, my entire salvation, my every desire. And what God has um, put on my heart to speak with you this morning, something that I have walked through and experienced, is this, um, this Christian walk of waiting. And I don't know, we, I feel like we have all experienced a wait on some level. The way I'm talking about isn't one that you know you have to wait hours or weeks, sometimes even months for. It's the 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 promise that you have to wait years for, and um, without going too far into my story, I know that waiting can be it can bring out the worst in us sometimes. Um, if I'm speaking honestly and truthfully, there were days where I felt so frustrated. I was in pain. Um, the pain came from almost envy. I was looking around at other people, getting everything that God had promised me and it seemed that they were getting it so easily. And that brought out a lot of anger towards God as well. I, was, I would have days where I would just feel angry. And I remember just asking God, why, why, why am I waiting? I think that's the question that really comes out of our hearts in those moments. Why are you putting me through this? Why do I have to wait for the answer? Why do I have to wait to see this come through in my life? Why am I seeing other people get it and why am I not getting it? And the focus can become 
me, 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 me. And not in a selfish way, but just in a place where you are in pain and frustrated, confused. You believe in a faithful God, but what is in the physical right now, what you're experiencing right now is pain. And it's, it's hard to get past that in the moment. But what I want to encourage you with today, church, because I know and I have seen it countless times, is that God is a good God and God does keep his promises. And from the moment he created this planet, Jesus was always in his plan. His plan for redemption, I think, was even a plan before he created the heavens and the earth. He already knew that we would need Jesus. So I'm gonna tell you right now in this moment that he already knows what you need when you need it, when he is going to give it to you and what that is going to do for his glory and how it is going to bring you joy and you peace. And I, I just cannot express to you enough how faithful our God is. He will come through for you. And I know that if you're experiencing that frustration, the anger, the sadness of your weight right now, I just want to encourage you to open your Bible and go to the living word of God because he wants to talk to you today. Maybe there's some stuff that he needs to work out in us before he can give it to us. And the stories in the Bible are full of it. We only have to look to the Israelites to see that they waited 40 years to get to their promised land, something that God promised them, something that God could have given them like that click of his fingers they could have been in their promised land but there was stuff that God needed to work out in their hearts before he could allow them to get to the promised land and I think we have to learn from their mistakes not to forget the faithfulness of God not to forget what he has done for you already I think when we, I, I, I don't know about you, but when I read the story of the Israelites, I get so frustrated because you can see it. I know it's so different when you are in it and you're experiencing, you know, the lack of food, this, that, and the other, and, and you, you almost become blind to the faithfulness of God and you just, you're feeling hungry or you're feeling pain or anger or you're frustrated and that's all you feel and it can be hard to get past what you feel. But I think we need to learn from the Israelites and we need to keep remembering God did it before, God will do it again. God will come through for me. God will come through for me in my finances. God will come through for me. We will have a child. God will come through for me. I will have a husband. God will come through for me. We will have a house. God will come through for me. There's so many things that we can be declaring over our life and I think that's the important part. It's the declaring we need to keep declaring that God is a good God, that he is faithful, that he will come through for you, whatever you are facing, church. And um, I feel so passionately about that because I have experienced it and I know it. And now I'm on the end of my promise. And actually what God is showing me, that my story is the beginning of somebody else's salvation, somebody else's redemption. My story glorifies who God is. It glorifies his faithfulness, how good he is. So it's going to show somebody else that he can do that for them. And it is going to be the start of their story, their relationship with Jesus. They are going to be um, saved and it is their redemption. And that is the point, church. Our weight is to glorify who God is with complete clarity. And so I just want to leave you with this verse this morning. And it's from Revelation 21 verse 11. And it's from the NIV version. And it says, it shone with the glory of God and its brilliance was like that of a very precious jewel, like a jasper, clear as crystal. If we allow God to make us into a precious jewel, a precious gem, through our weight, through working out the thing God needs us to work out, then we can shine even brighter for what God wants to show the world his glory to shine out into the world even brighter um but we have to put in the work in our weight and that can be the painful part but it can also be the part that frees you from your weight so i just want to encourage you to keep strong keep the faith church i'm going to pray over you to close this and i just want you to leave encouraged 
feel free to leave some comments. Um, if you want prayer, our website has um, a place that you can go to and request prayer. And we just ask that, um, yeah, that today you would just take away something from this and just feel encouraged, feel loved. Yes, Jesus, I just thank you for this word. I thank you that um, you are with us in each step we take. You already know what our 10-year plan is, Father God, but you ask us to just live in the moment today as we are, um, just seeking your truth, seeking your presence, glorifying and honouring who you are today, and that is all you want us to worry about, Father God. So I just ask that you would give us a heart, a vision for our future, but you would just um, lead us where we are at today, step by step, walking in faith, declaring your faithfulness over our life, Lord, I just pray that anyone who is feeling disappointment or discouragement this morning, today, um, that you would just speak directly to them right now, that they would just feel a weight has lifted off, that they would feel chains are broken. Lord, I just thank you. I thank you. I thank you for who you are, for what you have done, for how you have got us to this point where we are now. And Lord, I just believe that you have so much freedom for every single person watching with us this morning so our lord i just thank you i praise you i honor you and yeah we just glorify you in the name of jesus amen enjoy your day church it's been so wonderful being with you if you're going to bed have a lovely sleep and yeah we will see you tomorrow bye